The Legend is Coming, 2017 Maserati 11 Reviews, Reviews You can argue all you want about whether or not certain companies should build crossovers. That's what the comments section is for. We'd argue that Maserati should have done it a long time ago, having shown its first crossover concept back in 2011 and only delivering on it now. Porsche Blaze that will with the Cayenne and others have followed suit since, racking up big sales. It's a little odd, then, that after waiting so long to get in the game, the Levin came together in just 22 months. Before continue, please subscribe, share and comment. Thank you. Blame Nationalism the original plan was for the Levin to be based on and built in Detroit alongside the Jeep Grand Cherokee. That changed when Sergio Martian decided, in his dictatorial way, that all Maseratis and Alfa Romeos would be designed, engineered, and manufactured in Italy. So the team hit reset, borrowed the Ghibli platform, and went about creating a not quite a crossover, taller than a wagon hatchback with air suspension. Just shy of two years later, we're driving the Levant. In Italy, naturally, naturally. The dimensions and stance are what set the Levant apart from the abundance of luxury performance crossovers and emphasize its Italianus. It's longer, wider, and lower than a Porsche Cayenne or the Grand Cherokee it was nearly spawned from. The hood looks impossibly long in person because it is really long. The front end takes inspiration from the Alfieri concept, and there's a refreshing lack of mesh or filler between the grille's thin vertical slats. It can stand to be so open because there is a set of active grille shutters just behind to manage airflow. Airflow.